Welcome back to SDL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and we're learning about the St. Louis business monthly with my guest, Ron Aimlin. Thank you so much for being here. I should say president of St. Louis Small Business Monthly. There we go. Um, so I thought maybe you've covered everything sort of that's sure. on the expo coming up in April, but we can sort of talk more broadly about trends that you're seeing um, in St. Louis in regards to small businesses. Sure. I mean, I, th I think the number one trend happening right now, not only in St. Louis, but around the country, are the baby boomers because 10,000 baby boomers are retiring every day in this country. And mm. so it, it's, it, it's, it's a huge upheaval in the business community because so many, if you think about it, so many businesses are run by individuals who, who are maybe 63 to 73, and in mm. 10 years, they're not going to be there anymore. So those businesses are either going to have to uh, sell, they're going to have to either be, uh, someone's going to, from, from within, is going to have to take over those businesses. They're going to have to merge with another business or they're going to go out of business. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to see a lot of changes in the next 10 years in leadership in these companies and in companies in general. And so I think it's more important than ever for, for companies to think about succession mm -hmm. and who comes uh, after them and to train, make sure they're training their employees to, mm -hmm. to take over and be the next generation that, that takes over. So, so I think that's something we haven't seen in this country in, in, yeah. in 40, 50 years. Years. So mm -hmm. uh, the baby boomers made up such a large part of our workforce, mm -hmm. and now that they're leaving, um, there's a real void in, in experience and uh, in, in, a, in a void in, in, in talent level, really. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Now, I hadn't thought about it because I think so much of the focus, it makes sense when you think about it in terms of the ages of people, but so much of the focus has been on AI and tech and right, sort of right. those um, innovations and how they're affecting businesses. I know when I was just doing some research on um, some other trends nationally, one of the ones that gets in, that gets comes up a lot is the modern workplace and sure, this idea sure. that there's going to be a shift toward increased uh, remote work. I mean, do you see that in St. Yeah, Louis? Yeah, well, and that's part of the whole technology revolution. Okay. And and technology has changed really every kind of industry. I mean, and, and, and business owners and businesses have, ha have had to adapt to that, and they'll continue to adapt to that. You, there used to be a saying that businesses had a five-year and a 10-year plan, and mm -hmm. because of technology and the rapid changes, that's more like two or three years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you think about the, the number of... Uh, of uh, 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 travel agencies we had here 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. I think there was 300. Now there's 12. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, all industries have to adapt to that. And, and really, the telecommuting, uh, employees working at home, um, just uh, different, different things that, mm -hmm. that businesses have had to adapt to um, have, have really, you know, reshaped the business community. It's really reshaped uh, how businesses, how business owners uh, mm -hmm. develop strategy and develop their plans. Mm -hmm. And another one that comes up a lot when people talk about marketing and, ad and advertising is the growing trend towards personalization. And sure. that, um, I mean, do you want to comment on that? I mean, when now everything can be tracked in your data and how that's affecting businesses to have it to respond to that, that it can't just be general right, advertising. Right. It has and to be and so I think specific. that's a good thing, actually. I mean, we, we consider, uh, uh, because we have a niche public our, mm -hmm. our readers are business owners, small business owners. We feel like we're in that group, but, but I think it's a great thing because now you can target, you can better target your uh, your customer, mm -hmm. and I think that's always a good thing when, when mm -hmm. you think about uh, you know how to how to approach your marketing efforts. Mm -hmm. um, you, you want the most bang for your buck, and and marketing has always been sales and marketing has, has always been one of the most challenging things mm -hmm. for business owners. Mm -hmm. So the, the the more you can target your market, mm -hmm. the better off you are. Well, that's a great segue into talking about Small Business Monthly. I mean, you've been around for how many years is it now? Uh, 88, 1988 we actually started. So you're still surviving in the sense when we people are, look at media yeah. um, outlets. And talk about, we had some photos of some of your covers. What are you covering these days? One of those covers we had was the diversity issue. What do you have coming up? Yeah, well, you know, in, in 1988, before Google, uh, <laughs> we, we did a lot of stories on, you know, how to find the right health care insurance, how to find the right accountant. But you can Google those stories now. So today, our, our focus is really going out there and showcasing the entrepreneurial talent in St. Louis and letting you know how they built their businesses, how they overcame their challenges. Mm -hmm. And so what we do today is, is really go out there and, and, and showcase the, the talented entrepreneurs and, and let you know how they built their companies. Mm -hmm. So you can learn from those experiences because mm -hmm. every business owner has the, you know, all the potholes that they have to maneuver around. And, and, and we hope that, that these, these stories are not only inspirational, but we hope that they help you avoid some of those challenges that, mm -hmm. that, you, that you'll see. And I think what I always hear when a lot of people after they read Small Business Monthly is they're surprised at the diversity of businesses here in St. Louis that they didn't know existed. Oh, it's it, amazing. It's amazing the, the amount of, of uh, the, the great business owners we have mm -hmm. in St. Louis. And, and, you know, a lot of the high-tech companies and the core test 
di district, which are doing fantastic things, they get a lot of the media yes. attention. But there are a lot of small, you know, accounting firms and uh, that were built just by you know one or two individuals, and and a lot of dry cleaners that, that yeah. are doing really great work. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were all built by you know entrepreneurs that that just you know sooner or later decided they were going to drop everything and start their own company. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're going to have to have you come back because you're like a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> well, thanks we'll for having We'll have me. a weekly spot for you to come on and you know talk about topics. But thank you so much for being here. And once again, we're going to put the information up for you to go check out the expo. It's not coming up until April 23rd, but you should definitely mark your calendars. That's Tuesday, April 23rd, the St. Louis Business Expo and Business Growth Conference. It's taking place at the St. Charles Convention Center. There's going to be more than 20 free business building seminars and workshops, more than 100 business exhibits, and an awards luncheon. For more information, go to stlexpo.com. Well, there's more STL Live right after this. Please stay with us.